And welcome to my YouTube channel, Technobabble. I am the Technobabbler here with my retroactive spin-off series, Guy Goes to Work. And this is part three. So we are following Guy in the last part, Guy Made Sergeant. And now I believe that we were left off ready to make an APB and go out and find the next bad guy. Guy is working on becoming a world-famous detective. And I guess as he moves up the ranks, his title will change. But the focus is him still doing some police-slash-detective work to help make the streets of all of the Sim universes and Sim towns a safe place for his children to grow up on. So let's get right into part three of Guy Goes to Work. All right, Guy, what are we up to? We need to take a mugshot at the booth, add clues to the crime app, cross-reference the police database. So let's get in here. All of our moodlets are up. Um, we can have him come over here and add some clues right away to the board. I wonder what that was. It sounded like someone talking on a walkie-talkie. That's awesome. All right, where is Guy? It's taking a little while to get in here. Let's get you over to this wall, Guy. I'm hoping that we can actually catch a bad guy, because every time we catch a bad guy, our fame goes up a little bit. But as you can see, it's barely anything. Let me even squint. I don't even think there's anything green there. So he may or may not become famous for his detective work. I'm not sure. All right, what did it say? Clue, Guy has discovered that the suspect is a teen. All right, uh, we need to cross-reference the police database, so let's go ahead and uh, do that. Let's do that against a crime scene photo. We also need to analyze some evidence. Let's see, our buddy Curtis is in here. Looks like he's got his winter wear on today. Um, analyze evidence, and we will do an evidence sample. I think it's interesting. We need to take, use the booking station to get a mug shot, I guess, of someone we already have locked up. All right, he is really wanting to focus on getting some more clues on this board, so we'll have him analyze the evidence and then add more clues. We'll speed through this a little bit. Now, I don't understand why she, how did Lucy end up getting here? Why is she here? I'm not sure why Lucy keeps coming to work with Guy. This is like the second time this has happened. Uh, I'm not exactly certain, but I can't focus on her, because this is Guy goes to work, not Lucy comes to work, too. She can just do her own thing. Well, I guess the kids are caring for themselves. Oh, they can actually build a skill. Let's have her build her motor, and we'll have him build his creativity. All right, guys, analyzing that evidence, and then he is going to uh, add some more clues to the crime map, and I'm hoping that we can actually, in this episode, get out there and catch the bad guy. Let's take a look at our notes. We should have some notes in here. Uh, let's see. Wearing a skirt, suspect is a geek, has blonde hair, is female, and is a teen. All right. So we'll be going out looking for a teen once we get out there. He's working on his logic skills. Is that helping this at all? Uh, yep, achieved level six, so that's good. <laughs> Made a sad noise like he did not get anything done. Analysis failed. All right, the clue analysis failed to produce any useful information. Wah, wah, wah. I wonder if we... We can't issue an APB, but it doesn't... I'd like that to be part of one of these things, I would think. Clue discovered. Guy has discovered the suspect is wearing a long sleeve shirt. All right, now we can issue an APB, and that should take us to the crime scene. One. All right, a suspect fitting the APB description has been spotted in this area, so we will start investigating. All right, let's see. We are looking for... Let's get these walls down, first of all. That's just in the way. Um, is this a teen? No, it is a teen, but they are not wearing... I thought it was a skirt. Let's uh, ask about the suspect, but let me check my notes. I thought it said they were wearing a skirt. Maybe I dreamt. Nope. Suspect is wearing a skirt. Definitely not this person. But is there anyone else here on this map? We'll go ask about the suspect. It can't possibly be that person. They're not wearing a skirt. 
But if this person... Well, you know what? There is a basement to this place, isn't there? No one else here. Hmm, maybe that clue is wrong. Oh my gosh, we have to walk all... They're like standing there really eerily. Are they watching TV or something? Let me put the wall back up. No, they're just... Oh, they are. There's the TV. <laughs> it's really high up there. That is super awkward to watch that TV. All right, let's see what this person says. We should also maybe do a cheerful introduction. I haven't seen anyone like that. Hmm. What can we find out about this person here? Uh, teen, unknown, erratic, and is a geek. Do you think this is actually our suspect, even though they're not wearing a skirt? Did they maybe change clothes when they came here? Is this a teen? Let's see what this person's got. Definitely, let's um, come over here and ask about the suspect. I think that is the person. I think it's her and that her clothes is chain, have, have been changed. Because there's like no one else here. And it definitely said that the person was a geek and wearing long sleeves and... I don't know, but I don't want to get the wrong person. Oh, what can you do? What can you socialize with? Um, Bjorn, you've been wanting. Bjorn's been wanting to hang out with you. Um, what else can we do about this? Because I think this is the person. What else can we find out about this person? Uh, friendly. Let's get to know. See what else we can find out. Because it doesn't say anything about them being erratic. Let me take a look at my clues again. And is it possible those are clues from last time, or is this the same person? Geek, blonde hair, female, teen, wearing a long sleeve shirt. The only thing that doesn't match up is that skirt. But there's only... Let's see. Who's this person? Yasmin. Let's uh, ask about suspect and see what we find out. We'll keep our eyes on this person, though. I think this is our our criminal. Uh oh, I was going to keep my eyes on that person, but they just moved super fast because I was speeding through time. Uh, let's see. All right, they're down there talking. All right, guy, how long is it going to take you to get over there? She's a bit far away. All right, what do you have to say about the suspect? Oh, you you've seen the person you say. I'm sorry, but I can't help you. Well, isn't that great? All right, I think. Do you think it's possible that this is the person? I don't know. I don't even know if we can get in here and get this person. I'm going to say that this is definitely... Let me come ask about the suspect again. No one seems to know anything about the suspect. He's never seen the suspect here before. Doesn't that seem curious? Here's a teenager, definitely not wearing a skirt. Hugo, I guess we could ask about the suspect here, since it's outside. Come on, Scout, help me out. I'm still thinking it's that first person we saw. Typically, every time I've come to these things, it's always the first person we saw. But I've also not usually had this many people, and I've never had a clue be wrong, but it's possible. I mean, Sims could change their clothes. Let's see what this guy has to say, and then we'll go from there. Come on, give me some good information. Man, no one's helping me. All right, well, I say this is... I don't even think we can come in here, can we? Let's see what happens. I'll keep looking for a long sleeve skirt-wearing, blonde-haired teen, but... Odds are not in my favor right now. Especially with it being rainy out. I think people are changing their clothes left and right. What's it saying? Can he get in there? Clean out spoiled food. I bet he can't even go in there because she's in the girl's bathroom. <gasps> she's out. She's out. All right. Let's arrest this person. I don't know what happens if it's not the right person. We'll find out. <laughs> yeah, just throw that plate on the ground there. Go arrest this person. And then I guess we'll have to do some questioning, some interrogating. Oh, wow. How long will it take to get in there? There we go, guy. You're under arrest. Okay, guy has come back 
to the police station. We need to interrogate the suspect, I believe. Now, technically, our day's been completed. But should we maybe talk to the chief? No, let's interrogate the suspect. Let's see. Fingerprint. Take interrogate. Let's see what we get. Wait, let's use the bathroom first. Then we can interrogate the suspect. I, I just said you need to use the bathroom first. Okay, I guess we're going to go interrogate. What is happening? This happened last time, too. I think it took a while for them to get into this inter interrogation room. All right, let's see what we've got going on here. Wait, is she wearing a skirt now? She is, and long sleeves. This is definitely our suspect. Okay, uh, let's do some evidence. Let's uh, show some crime pictures. And I think we usually do good cop stuff. Discuss the victim. And... Uh, Let's see, what other evidence? Show witness statement. She seems tense. How do we calm her down a little bit? Maybe let's, uh, good cop, let's, uh, make some small talk. Because we need her to fess up to her crime. She's getting nervous. She's getting real nervous. What are we doing? Make some small talk. Uh, what else can we good cop? Ask about crime. Oh, she's starting to appear friendly. Maybe we need to do some more evidence. Review the file. Let's review the case file. <laughs> I love this interaction. This little room, teeny tiny room, light right on her. Let's see, good cop. Let's uh, let's uh, discuss the victim again. What are your bad cop options? Play crazy cop. That's hilarious. Do we need to do some evidence? The suspect appears to be guilty. It's time to put this criminal behind bars. All right, how do we do that? Get confession. How much time do we have? Oh, we have time to get a confession. We've got time to get a confession out of this criminal. And we hope you learned your lesson this time, Rania. Be curious to know what the actual crime was. It'd be kind of hilarious. All right, we are going to get lock her up in a cell. I wonder if the people that we previously caught, are they like all in the same cell or are these just like perpetual criminals? I can't remember the first person we arrested. I will have to look back at the footage and see who it was that we arrested and see if the person is in fact in here. Because we always seem to lock him up in that cell. All right, let's see. What does it say? Guys work. Case closed. Nice work. That's one more criminal off the streets. Unfortunately, crime never sleeps, and we have another case waiting for you. Get the assignment from the computer and get back out there. Man, no rest for Guy. Uh, let's see. Should we have him come over and talk to the chief before we leave? I think we should. Uh, let's see. Friendly. Talk to the chief. Then he'll need to use the bathroom. I don't know if we'll get all that in before we leave, but... We shall certainly try. The chief has not been very friendly to us. Of course, aren't we like kind of almost coming for his job, basically? Because what happens after we keep... We're a sergeant right now, and he's chief. I wonder what the next level will be. Will we get a promotion? No, doesn't look like it. If we are focused, maybe. Let's see what the chief has to say. Seems to be in a better mood. What are we looking at? Oh. I'm tired of looking at so much red ink. Get some more cases in the black. All right, man, this guy is always riding us. Go use the bathroom, guy. You need to go. Bad. All right, I think this is going to wrap up our third part of Guy Goes to Work. It's very exciting. He caught us. I think this is his second criminal. But, like it always is, there's always more crime to be solved.
uh, guy is teleporting now. Guy is going to use the restroom, and then he will be going home. End of shift. Guy did a fantastic job today. There may be a Shiner badge and a new title in his future. Money earned. 1,000 simoleons. 1,077 simoleons. That's awesome. And a vacation day. All right. Well, I will wrap up this part here. Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed part three of Guy Goes to Work. Music